I am Anil Kumar. We will further explore the principle of inclusion and exclusion in this video. In a group of 30 players, 15 are on the hockey team, 18 are in the basketball team, and 6 are in both the teams. How many of these players do not play hockey or basketball? So that is the question for you. So what we can do here is we can find total number of players which play hockey and uh, basketball. That means hockey union basketball. Is that okay? So that is the total number of players hockey and basketball. Now from the principle of inclusion and exclusion, so we are applying the principle of inclusion and exclusion. That is to say that if we add the number of players for hockey with the number of players in basketball, then there are some common players. We have to take them away since they are counted twice, right? So the intersection of hockey and basketball players should be taken away, right? So total of these players, so let's say H union B, so number of players is equal to number of hockey players. We are given 15 are in the hockey team, so it is 15, plus in basketball team there are 18. Take away common, which is 6, right? So that is what it is. So let's do this. We have 15 plus 18, take away 6 equals to 27. So 27 players are in hockey and basketball teams, right? So we have a group of 30. So the so number of players in the universal set is 30, right? So therefore, the players who do not play hockey or, that is to say, hockey or basketball, these are the players, right? So they are 30 minus 27, which is 3. So that is our answer, right? So that is how you could answer such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.